anyone. But Fever Keeper all seem to say, oh, he's the strongest monster. He's never been beaten. Is that really the only parameter that we use for, for people who can fight? Yeah, I'm not no. saying that. I mean, I'm I mean, saying, if, 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 but again, I mean, I, I look on this way, look on this way. We are biased because we know he's an asshole. I can give you another yeah. character who, who stood pretty much on the third show as usual, <coughs> where there's nobody there that could beat him. They watch an anime called Kenichi, History's Strongest Disciple. Well, they might call it Mightiest Disciple. I said, History's Strongest, but them, them change the name. The English dub. Why? I don't fucking know. Anywho, yeah, you have, right? Okay. The Invincible Superman. He's never lost a fight. The Invincible that that's, that's a good guy version of Yojiro. With blonde hair. You realize some, some really fuck up about, about, about anime? And Japan, think hard, my boy. What is your general's complexion? Fuck. Yes, and, what, and what does quote unquote his darkness represent? Black people, essentially. Also, evil, my boy. That's also part of not paying attention. Even in anime and video games. <laughs> Kind of a perfect example, infamous. When you're in the good guy mode, you're white. Just your, your eyes are blue and pretty. Actually, I didn't know Cole's eyes were blue <coughs> until I played the good guy version. Right? The dark guy version, and right? you're dark. You're a darker shade. Shit, you almost look like you're tainted with oil. And if you pay attention throughout the years, a lot of the bad guy characters, them, quote unquote bad guys, they saw uh, a darkness board. And Mr. Oliver, <clears throat> you remember Mr. Oliver? Yeah, him, right? You yeah. remember when we first time we met him? He was literally killing people with one punch. The same shit you Jaro was doing, killing people with one attack, leaving a crater in niggas' chests. Mr. Oliver, and he was so bad that nobody could challenge him or test him. So, yeah. But then you know you're not supposed to speak. But anywho, oh, we're on. It's been recorded. Should son, I did not see the light. Anyways, yeah. Um. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, oh, uh, more tragic news. Um, apart from losing one piece of my childhood, I've also lost another piece. We have to pay respect to a very great, great manga writer. Um, mm -hmm. a man was like an impact on my childhood because he created one of the greatest animes I ever sat down and watch. Even though I hate how the card game. Has spiraled out of control, but he was a great man for creating it in the first place. The man who created Yu Gi Oh died rescuing two children. Yes, man. Kaji, someone said, Oh, how does one die? How, how does one die? <laughs> 